Hello once again Spartans and welcome back to The Domain. This is a review that, I mean, <laughs> do I have to say anything else? Do I even need to give an introduction to what this set is? This is the Winter Contingency, the Falcon Suite. And it's gotta be the greatest set ever made, right? There have been such titans, such giants in uh, the Mega Constructs line over the last 13 years. Particularly, you know, you have to give credit to signature builds and things like the Master Chief SDCC pack, but there has been nothing at general release, like general retail, that is only about 70 to $80, includes six named characters, like a full noble team and a falcon. And we haven't had a falcon since about 2011, 2012. We had three different falcons back then, the original that actually did come with Cat, so so it's a pretty cool throwback to that. And then we got a Blue Falcon that was a European exclusive, I believe at the time, and then the Flood Hunters Falcon. And then nothing for so many years. I mean, uh, it makes sense because the Falcon hasn't been in any mainline Halo games since Halo Reach. But come on, Mega. Like, you've re-released a lot of things like the Cobra and the Wolverine before. Like, the original news of this set uh, being announced or kind of leaked, it was a listing on a website, and this was interesting interesting at the time because it was listed only as the name Winter Contingency. There was nothing else. Even back then, most people thought that it would include at least some members of Noble Team. I don't think anyone could have possibly predicted that it would be this epic. A full Falcon with the space to store new articulation figures inside. We got six all of Noble Team, and uh, let me get into the details on like how well these are painted. Like these are Halo Hero level quality. We got all six figures and painted weapons and ammunition crates, sandbags, a fusion core, two grenades. It's insane, man. And the more I've been looking at this, like this has been sat on my shelf for a couple of days. I did a Noble Team figure showcase. I took the figures outside and uh, yeah, they look gorgeous in uh, the natural Minnesotan summer. And now I'm finally sitting here to give my thoughts. And Spoilers, my thoughts are going to be 100, well, 99.9% .9 positive. There are only tiny, tiny little details that I wish Mega had changed a little bit. Like, it's barely worth my time or even barely respectful to talk about the minor errors or the things I would have done differently because this is so magnificent of a set. Such a 100 out of 100 build and improved on the previous Falcon exponentially that this is going to be my most positive, praiseworthy review of all time. I think. I mean, like, you can tell I've already been talking for three and a half minutes and <laughs> it's clear that I love this set. So, this is Falcon Suite. I've shown off the box art before. It's absolutely gorgeous. The box also has a pull tab on it, so you only just have to slide that off to open the box. You don't have to damage anything. You don't have to tear any cardboard, so it's still good as a display piece, which I do respect. And a load of the imagery on that box art. It, it, you can tell that Kevin, the lead designer at Mega, and all of the team really care about this set. So we're gonna start with the Falcon and then we're gonna go into Noble Team. I guess before any of that, we can talk about the accessories. We get one fusion coil and fusion coils have made such a big comeback in uh, Halo Infinite. So it's cool to see one. And they've been rocking the same design for basically forever, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Then we've got this ammunition crate. Now, what's really interesting about this is HDP62 is the actual code for the UNSC Falcon. Like that's the product code. So it's really smart. I like it as, I see it as like a little Easter egg. You know, in the future you can pick this out and this is the Falcon Sweep Ammunition Crate. Also great that it comes in two colors and has printed detailing. Again, they have not changed the ammunition crate design for many, many, many years, but again, I have no intention to see it change. We then have this nice base plate with some sandbags. And six sandbags is actually very generous for a Mega release. The last time I've seen that many sandbags is like Mega Constructs Inventions, but that was short-lived. So it's great to see six sandbags. They didn't need to include this. They didn't need to include any of these accessories. They just did because uh, they have a passion for this set, clearly. So those are great accessories, and that base plate does match all six of the base plates that come with our Noble Team members. I always like the sort of speckly effect that they put on these. Every one is slightly different with these little sort of dark brown dots around the base plate. They look fantastic. Sort of just seals the whole set together. Then we've got the Falcon. Oh, buddy. This Falcon is a beast. First of all, the build itself, like the actual construction, is so much more enjoyable than the original Falcon. The 
the original, you had to build the bottom of it and the top, then you had to wedge them together and then they were always really tight, uh, especially if the plastic had warped over time. So it wasn't a good design. This one builds up slowly, has you assembling everything much neater and it just works so well. And it, I think it's also going to be way more sturdy as well. One of the main noticeable differences of this set, of course, we have printed detailings. That wasn't the case back at the original release. I really like the addition of studs. These translucent studs, we've got two yellow and then we've got green on one side and red on the other. And you can see they go all the way to the back as well. That's a really nice design choice. I really respect it. I love the fact that it's green on one side, red on one side. It, it's just neat. Like it's just, it's pretty unique. And then yeah, printed detailing. We got these dots here, UNSC logos, arrow stripes. There's a lot to offer. Mega certainly didn't uh, cop out here. They provided a lot of really nice detailings. The arrows on the top as well. Everything works perfectly. The green choice, the color choice here is great. It pretty much mirrors and matches the Razorback and the new Gun Goose Gambit. I like that dark green, pretty much the exact same as the original Falcon. And here's where Mega does set itself apart from Lego very often. All the pieces are sort of like plastic injection molded. I don't know the exact details. I would love to know from Kevin soon. You see here the way that they have different colored plastics running through so that when they set, everything looks unique and different. And this runs all over the build. It's something that Mega's done for many, many, many years and it always works. It always looks fantastic. The turbines here are also two colors, which is a nice addition. Could have just gone all black, but no. Everything on this set is above and beyond. The cockpit opens up and it's much more accessible to hold figures. We'll show all of Noble Team inside towards the end, but it still looks really nice. The seats haven't changed at all, but the cockpit is a little more accessible. Yes, the figures are a little tightly cramped inside, but they do still fit. And this chain gun has way more movement. Look at this. All these pieces lock together to give so much movability, which I really respect. Now, the only thing that is a tiny critique about this is this only inserts into a single stud. So when you're positioning your noble team members and they're holding onto the chain gun, they do hold onto it very loosely. See, I'm having a little bit of trouble there just getting it in. There we are. See, that's fixed in, but even the slightest amount of pressure from any noble team member and it pops off. So that could have been done a little bit better. Um, certainly super glue will fix that. And the tiling works really well inside the armory bay, the loading bay, the sitting bay. What am I even saying? <laughs> inside the bay. A lot more nice little additions like these. Everything is smoothed off very nicely. That's what I think Mega have been doing really well recently. They've been uh, trying to get all of their builds more streamlined, more smoothed off. And you can see that running all the way across. There were some parts of the live stream where I was really particularly impressed with that. At the back, I would say this is the only bit that's a little bit bare bones that you can see all these studs sort of just hanging there. These fins clip into the bottom. It does leave this uh, a little bit exposed. At the back though, this is rounded off very nicely. I like that little silver piece. Silver complements the dark greens a lot throughout this set. And on the bottom, we have this. This has been on most of the Falcons, I believe. And this can be uh, altered a little bit, particularly when I was filming outside, when I was putting this on rocks, it was nice to be able to tilt this and have it sort of more firmly sat down. These are really well built in. Everything is very tight, very compact. Uh, you know, it's definitely durable. And then this little searchlight here, another nice addition of a gem. Same as the original Falcon. There is a chain gun, but this one has a bit more articulation and uh, looks fantastic. Everything looks fantastic, guys. Like everything is such high quality on this build. And one of the things I really want to point out is the propellers because on the original Falcon, these were a bit of a nightmare to put together and they would always fall off and sort of crumble. And um, because of the way they were built, particularly with things like being clipped onto the sides, it was very hard to locate everything and clip it all back together. This is a big improvement on that. These silver pieces, again, just like uh, sort of make the, uh, they sort of pop out more because of the dark green below. This printed detailing is also nice. The propellers haven't seen any change since the original. Again, it, you don't need to fix it if it ain't broke. There is an addition of a brand new piece. This is brand new two mega constructs. Like there's a little hole inside here. I really enjoy it. I think it's a great piece. And Kevin said that uh, it was just integral to the build that they, uh, that they made this new piece. So I'm happy they did. Cockpit pretty similar to before. Honestly, just all in all, hugely robust build, really excellent Falcon. And it's not something that I can talk about forever because it has a lot 
lot of the same bells and whistles from the original Falcon, but they've just took the original and they've hyped it up. They've made it more durable. They've made it more compact. They've made it smoothed off with nice new additions of printed detailing. And my favorite part of it, the addition of the yellow, green, and red studs that run through the body. The propellers are much better build. The Noble Team members will sit inside as we're going to show you in a minute. But first, we got to check out Noble Team because, oh my goodness, these guys are the real deal. Feast your eyes on a complete Noble Team. Oh, it's just so good. We're going to start with Noble One, of course, and we're going to run through each of the Noble Team members. I don't have the Halo Heroes to compare to right now because I'm in America, not England. Most of my collection is in the UK, but I recommend you checking out Demarcation Media's review of all of the Noble Team New Articulation members we've got so far. He does a great comparison. That's where you want to go. But this Carter is really nice, and I think this is practically identical to the Halo Heroes Carter. I love the little red addition on his earpiece. The bronze visor shines really nicely. White stripes run across his body. The painted applications on this one are perfect. We're gonna talk about all the weapons after the figures, but he looks really fantastic with his DMR. I love the change in color between the limbs. I absolutely love everything about this Carter. Even this logo is perfectly applied on his shoulder. Like you can see even that tiny bit of red detailing on his chest. Like back in the day when Mega Blocks originally came out, there were factories where people were hand painting these figures. Like the technology has come along so far. And I'm really proud of Mega just embracing the times and trying their best to make the highest quality figures for their fans. Moving on to Noble 2, Catherine. Yeah, Cat looks particularly good here. Like she's come in the Chopper and Bubble Shield and also Halo Heroes. But here she just looks exceptionally good. I really appreciate this additional bit of silver on her earpiece, same as Carter. Her color scheme just works really well. I love the undersuit. I love the full silver robotic arm. I don't know why like half of our Mega Constructs figures don't come with robotic arms if they have the mold. It's a really, really quality figure. That additional little red detailing on the back. We don't usually ever get painted detailing on the back of the chest, so really nice to see. Love the white detailing. Noble Team is, is really great for white detailing. I think it's one of the best colors Mega can choose for figures because like it always stands out. They just look really good. Again, not only probably the best set Mega's ever made, but also in five years time, it will be the most valuable. Take it away, Noble 3. It's June and he looks great. <laughs> I just, I, I, it's, it's, this is a funny kind of video. Like usually when I review Mega Constructs figures, I'm critical. I say what could be added because usually with normal figures, there is something left to be desired because they're just standard retail cheap figures. But these uh, really do feel like they, I, I don't even, like is Mega making any money on this set? <laughs> uh, I'm sure they are. We haven't had that many Junes either. We've had him in Halo Heroes. We've had most of these in Halo Heroes now. I think we've actually, yeah, we've had them all in Halo Heroes. He also came in the second ever elephant with Carter and man the detailing was not what this is back then. I love his ghillie suit especially. Mega can sometimes get this a little bit wrong. The uh, detailing can look a bit sketch sometimes but they've nailed it on this one. They've also nailed these bullets on his shoulder. They've nailed everything about this set man. Everything about this set. I'll tell you one thing that they didn't quite nail <laughs> after saying everything. Noble for a meal. Now this is a great figure. It looks gorgeous but um, unfortunately on my one, the gold from his visor has leaked a bit onto uh, the bottom of his helmet. You know, when I see people complaining online about mega quality control issues, guys, they haven't been able to even visit the factories in China for years. It's been COVID. I don't know. I don't see it. Like, I've, I, I'm have i the mega constructs guy. I go through thousands of figures every year, but I don't see the quality control issues. Yes, this one has slight bleeding issues, but I'm going to get the helmet replaced. It's not an issue. Mega has a way better parts replacement scheme than Lego like way, way better. And I think, uh, you know, they missed the mark a bit there, but they should not be held accountable at all. The rest of the printed detailing looks phenomenal. Yes, I'm gonna go into the weapons in a minute, but I gotta just mention a painted kukri knife, guys. I don't think we ever got a painted kukri knife. That silver and dark gray running right down the middle, gorgeous. It's on to the last named member of Noble Team. Well, the last like <laughs> canonically I don't know, what am I even saying? The, the last consistent member of Noble Team, because Noble Six, the funny thing about Noble Six is, uh, you know, you customize him in the game, so he can really look as uh, however you want, you know? This pink guy can be my Noble Six. But in uh, in terms of Noble Team, George is the last memorable uh, member. This one looks absolutely phenomenal. It might be my favorite one, and I'll tell you why. George has only been in a couple of sets, Halo Heroes and the Drone Outbreak. Uh, I might have missed a couple of sets off uh, with all these characters, but in general, he originally released in the Drone Outbreak, 
outbreak. And uh, it wasn't that good because it was this weird lime green. They changed it for Halo Heroes metallic green and they brought it back again for this one. I don't think much has changed, but man, not much needs to. I love the tiny little bits of printed detailing across his armor. He has his great metallic green backpack and then the red on his shoulder and on his neck look awesome. The bronze visor, awesome. The gray detailing on his helmet attachment and the bottom of his helmet, his chin, and then the white stripes running across his wrists. This is amazing. Amazing. Bravo, Mega, bravo. Nothing but good things to say. Nothing but good things. Here is Noble Six. Kind of looks like a Spartan thumb, you know, the Spartan that uh, sacrificed himself before the events of Halo Reach. This is a lighter gray than we've seen before. He has a really dark black visor rim that runs all the way around, and I really like it. When I first unboxed it on the live stream, I think uh, this was what I was talking about the most out of the figures. I really enjoy it. Then the blue lights look great. Very subtle details on Noble Six. He also has the little red icon on his back, but uh, very soft. That's what uh, kind of makes him great. Like, that's what I love about this figure. He's come out in a Gun Goose before and also uh, Series 10 of Halo Heroes. Uh, he's uh, he's one for the record books, guys. Can you imagine the, the resell value on these figures? Like, I don't think the release of these uh, in this set will drive the price of uh, Halo Heroes down because people still want Halo Heroes as the highest valued collectible. I don't know what the resell value on these will be in five years time. It's going to be really high because Mega can't just keep on releasing Noble Team, even though they really do need to. After this, I'm really hoping we get an Alpha 9 set. This is incredible. Incredible. What a amazing set. Now let's talk about the weapons. Painted weapons galore. And when this set was first announced, I definitely didn't think they were going to be painted. Like I thought, you know, Mega's got to cut corners somewhere. It's not even cutting corners. Mega doesn't include painted weapons very often. Like it is actually quite rare to get a full set of painted weapons. Usually it's just for Halo heroes or like really, really big sets. But even like the new Phantom doesn't have it. So like this is a great touch. Now there are two different designs here. Three of the weapons have just a single stripe on them and it works. It kind of just shows that maybe there should be painted weapons in more sets because that is so easy to do. So simple. Just a white stripe on the Magnum and assault rifle and a gold on the chain gun. And then the other three weapons, which I really didn't think were painted, even from the product images, have a mix of black and dark gray for the sniper, shotgun, and DMR. So simple, but so effective, particularly for that DMR, a lot of detail on that one. And then the crowning glory, a painted Kukri knife. Gorgeous, man. I'm gonna keep this one very safe. One thing I didn't keep safe was my grenades. There were meant to be two, but I, uh, yeah, I lost one while filming yesterday. RIP to the grenade. A fusion coil, six base plates, an ammunition crate, and a base plate with sandbags. What more could you possibly ask for? Folks, I think I've made my case for why this is basically the best set ever made, but the final piece of the puzzle, the final creme de la creme, is the fact that all of our Noble Team members can fit inside. The reason we really needed a New Articulation Falcon was that New Articulation figures could not fit inside. So they have fixed that and then some. We got these nice little handles for the character to hold on and pilot the Falcon, and we do have a really nice nice designed uh, interior cockpit uh, module. That is really nice. Then we have all of our Noble Team members again. It's a little bit cramped. I have June and Emil chaining some Covenant down below. Fellas, boys and girls out there, collectors worldwide, my Noble Team, you guys can see that this is clearly probably the best value set ever made. It's probably going to be the highest resale value ever made. And what I'm really, really hoping is that it's one of the best distributed sets ever made. Time will tell on that one. I know this has been delayed for a while and just because I'm reviewing it, don't worry. This is kind of an early release. Mega sent this to me. A few people have got their pre-orders, but uh, pretty much right now it's only just pre-orders going out. I am desperately hoping that this will be on Target shelves. The fact that Target is clearing out all of their old Halo right now, it's all on clearance, is a good sign and I'm really hoping that it's the first of many signs to come. And if you're sat at home ready to type your comments saying, well, I'm from the UK or the Netherlands or Portugal and I can't get set, I know it is really difficult. I'm a British guy. I was at my prime back in the day. Well, my prime. I'm, I'm at my prime right now. I was uh, quite young back then.
then, but like uh, I was there when the UK was one of the best distributed uh, countries in the world for Mega. I am going to do everything in my power to bring that back. I want good distribution worldwide and I'm talking with Mega right now. I'm going to do anything in my power to make that happen. But you have to remember that this is during one of the worst times ever to get things distributed. So shout out to you all. You stay awesome. You stay safe out there, folks. And the Falcon in all of its divine glory is signing off. Dun 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 dun.